Well, good day, viewers. I'm trying this microphone again. It has noise canceling, and it uh, cancels out all the continuously repetitive noises, like the engine running sound. Sometimes I want that. So this uh, BMW has a problem with the heater blower. Doesn't blow. Display indicates the fan speed has increased, but it doesn't work. So I'm going to go over on the passenger side and tap the dash. It's on max speed. No, it's not going to kick in. No, sometimes the blower motor has worn brushes. It'll start working. Oh, look at this cigarette. So we're going in to check the uh, final drive re resistor. It's actually a transistor, and it's located up in here, in this area in here. So you have to remove the glove box. There's uh, uh, four screws and little hinge brackets on the bottom of the glove box. Keep those screws separate because they're a little shorter than the ones around the glove box housing. And then there's two little uh, rods that support it on this side, one on each side little plastic pins you have to pull out disconnect the two wiring harnesses move it off to the side now we have to pull this piece out of here and that resistor is up in that area in there so remove this plastic panel by prying it out gently from the right hand side and then it's kind of clipped onto the left hand side and then there's a lamp housing with a cover over it you have to pry the cover off this little black plastic cover and then you can take that out now we got to get up into this area in here that's where that final resistor is up in there so there's some kind of an actuator in the way that has two t20 screws and you're going to need a, a t20 screwdriver you can't use a torx bit because the, the top screw is recessed in a hole you can barely see it if you pull this duct down a little bit I understand there's two screws on it and then there's a link on the top that has to be popped off okay let's see if we can get it out of there so there's that actuator out. There is a rod that you have to go in and I used a little hook like this to pry it up. And then you have to slide it towards the passenger fender the right side because it's sliding into little slots. And then there's a wiring connector that has to be unplugged. Now the final stage resistor is back there. I think it's just clipped in. So the yellow and green wire is power all the time from a fuse 50, a 40 amp fuse, and the brown wire on the second row is ground and it lights a headlight, so those two supply circuits are good. Now we're going to jump power to the blower motor, as you can see here, uh, pin 1 and pin 4 in five one and five so we're going to bypass the resistor here and see if the blower motor runs so you can see with the resistor bypass the blower motor runs now we're going to check the current draw it should be less than 20 amps with the engine running well i'm not overly impressed with the heater blower current but it's not excessive it's only about an average of a little 11 and a half to 12 amps with the engine running Got a low amp clamp over the wire. So the last thing to check is to verify on that blue wire that we have a varying voltage signal from the control head. So I got a graphing voltmeter connected to the blue wire and pin four brown wire, which is ground. And it's sitting at eight volts with the blower fan on high right now. And I'm gonna turn the blower fan down. That's right off. 
That's the first step on the blower fan resistor. It's not picking it up very well, but definitely have a a varying output from it. So we're going to order a final stage resistor and put it together.